Hello, YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Hit the like and subscribe button. I appreciate you being here. And this is the Flathead Ford. If you've never seen a Flathead Ford, you wonder, what's the deal with the Flathead Ford? Why does everybody talk about a Flathead Ford? Why does everybody want a Flathead Ford? This is a flathead Ford. This is a perfect example of a flathead Ford that was, is really a good example of to, to use this year. A flathead Ford, why is it a flathead Ford? The easiest thing, this is a cylinder head and it's pretty flat. There you go. Real simple, why is it a flathead Ford? It's just a cylinder head. The valves are in the block. So all modern engines now have the valves that are overhead valve. You'll see overhead valve, OHV, overhead valve. These are in the block. It's very primitive as to today's standards, but this is why we, you know, we talk about a flathead for it. So here it is, it, it is a flathead. Um, and probably what you wanna know is why is the, the traction to this? This is the traction to flathead for why would you do it? It makes no sense. It makes no sense money-wise. It makes no sense cost-wise. Um, horsepower for dollar, you wouldn't be building a flathead Ford. You would be building a small block Chevy. Um, but if you've ever heard of flathead Ford and you've ever been in a flathead Ford, you know why it's an attraction that just, you, you can't even describe. So I can't even describe it to you. When we run this engine, you may get a little insight of why it's so cool. Um, but it doesn't make sense in a bunch of different ways. It's not for the faint of heart. A uh, flathead Ford, you may tear down three, four, five. We've done up to 10 engines to get one good block. Why? It's because they sit around for a long time. The most common thing you're gonna get when you're gonna go buy one is they're gonna tell you it was running when I parked it. Yes, it was running when you parked it. And it sat for 30 years in your backyard. And then now it froze because you didn't have any presented. So while it may have been a good running motor 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, it's not a good viable soul. When you start getting blocks, you're gonna end. You can't know if it's cracked or not. We, so the very first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna walk you through, when it comes in, we're gonna go tear it down, we're, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna um, inventory all the parts, and we're gonna try to find, while we're tearing it apart, the real quick cracks, where they crack, because if we see them there, it stopped right there, and we cut the cost down to building one. And so if you can learn this stuff at home, or when you go into the swap meet, or you go into these, to people's yards and looking, I'm gonna show you the areas that you can look at and you'll find most of the cracks right off the bat if you know where to look at. Um, so we, we're gonna go ahead and do that. So the, I guess the, the, the first video is just gonna be showing you how to find a good candidate. Where do they crack? Where, you know, what should I be looking at? Um, because you're gonna spend a lot of money finding a good block. There is still a few brand new blocks you can buy. They're three or $4,000. You may be thinking, that's a lot of money to start with a brand new block. Once you tear down 10 blocks and you take them to a shop, they hot tank them, they magma flux them, they pressure test them, and everyone is bad, you're gonna be like, man, I was at 80% of that brand new block. Yes, you were. There's no, I'm not a Karnak, you're, you're, you're not a, you know, you can't figure this stuff out. So it's a game you're gonna play. It's a game you're gonna play. You might find one, we've done some, the very first one we tore apart. Man, I don't know how you did it. You found a good block. That's not the common one. The common is three or four to find a good one. We had one just not too long ago. It was going into on 10 blocks and everyone was bad. I feel for you, but that's not anything that anybody can, can judge, it just depends. So we're gonna help you try to speed up the process and show you the areas that the cracks do happen. And you can look there off the bat if you're in a swap meet, you're in a garage sale, you're out there looking, we'll take you there. That doesn't mean that if you didn't find one there, it didn't come out cracked once it came out of the hot tank. But we're gonna speed you up to the point of what, where do, the, where do they crack and why do they crack, okay? Thank you very much for looking. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button if this meant anything to you. And then I'm gonna get back to work, so why don't y'all get out there and look for a block. <laughs>